What's up? What's up? Johnny Bank of 45 here. Welcome to, of course, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. So, we have finished respect. Now, we're gonna go for balance. Wow, balance. This time, Nasuki with Sayori. Yeah, let's do this. I wonder how they're gonna dip, depend that dip their affection, their mutual understanding. So, let's go with this first. Wait. Balance, right? Yeah, balance. Let's go. Natsuki! Why Natsuki is messing with the orientation of a manga in the closet shelf? Sayori approaches from behind and pulls her into an embrace. Why? <coughs> Hi. Hi. The little chakra has been in full swing since Natsuki joined. Including her, the club is now comprised of four members. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monica. <coughs> and she's about to happen here. I think each club member has received a day in the spotlight to share all of their favorite kinds of literature with each other. Natsuki was first and share her passion of a manga. Then Sayori shares her love for poetry as well as how she goes about writing it herself. Monica, who has multiple literacy interests, decided to focus her day on short stories. Finally, Yuri managed to demonstrate her obsession with fantasy with a little help and encouragement from Sayori. <laughs> After the week was spent on their presentations, Monica decides, decided to give the club members this week next to freely explore each other's literacy interests. Sayori, having spent most of her time in the club so far with Yuri's fantasy book, is rather excited to begin her journey into Natsuki's manga collection. <laughs> I want to read with you today. Tell me which one should I pick? However, that depends on the stuff you like. I mean, there's a little romance, drama, comedy, mystery. I like all of those things. Pick one. Sai so reaches out and pulls a random book from the shelves and inspects the cover. Shouldn't this girl be wearing more clothes? You, you wouldn't like that one. In fact, Natsuki snatches the book away from Sayori's hand and places it on the shelf in a less suspicious location. Okay, well. If you really have no preference, then let's just start with something that's easy to get into. A lot of these don't get don't start to get really good until like a few volumes in, and I wouldn't ask someone to make that kind of commitment unless they are already really into manga. I can handle it. I did it with Yuri books at least. Well, I'm more considerate than that. Although I'm kind of impressed that by your intentions, but if you put that much effort into a book, no, I have the intentions by an offer donut. But I love my friends, and I can do anything if it's for them. Well, okay then. Let's pick us. You let's pick you something that even donuts can read. I didn't say I was a donut. I just said I had attention span of one. Ah, uh, when you try to call me sweet, you're so cute. No. How did you get to that conclusion? And don't call me that. A donut? C cute. But how come? I just don't like it. I don't need a reason. Nasky gets a book from shelf and closes the closet doors. If someone asks you to stop, then you just need to stop. People need to realize that. I'm I'm sorry. I didn't really, really mean to hurt you. Nah, sorry. It wasn't you. Natsuki shakes her head while putting a second chair over to her desk. <coughs> I was talking about something else. I didn't mean to get angry all of a sudden. Natsuki averts her gaze and mumbles. You're like, well, like a nice person. So, I wasn't talking about you. I still learned a valuable lesson. Sari speaks softly as well, feeling shy after receiving the unexpected compliment. But anyway, here's the ball, so just start it whenever you feel like it. What is it about? What is it about? Well, it's like a comedy, and there's a romance too, obviously. Sari looks at the title, it's called Love is Another Word for Luck. It's about a girl who keeps accidentally running into the same guys, and then you find out like, well, you should just read it. But you have to tell me what you think. I can already guess who you're gonna ship yourself with. It would be so funny if I'm right. Shit, I don't get it. I know my let's not worry about that. Just make sure you tell what you think. Tell me what you think. Okay. I will start then. <laughs> and maybe tomorrow we can do poetry too. Oh, um, yeah, I guess. But don't you want to finish this first? Yeah, but we could do both. I mean, unless you don't like poetry, then I won't make you or any. No, it's just. But never mind, we can worry about it tomorrow. After the, the club meeting ends and Natsuki and Yuri leaves, Monica strikes up a conversation with Sayori. I see I got Natsuki to share some of her manga with you. I really want to become better friends with her. She's so enthusiastic and expressive. I could just listen to her talk. She's so cute. 
I am not sure if she meant I can say that to her. Oh, I just can't say it at all. Say what? Nothing. I am a woman of respect. Manaski is a woman of cute. Oh, I see. Ahaha, <laughs> what's so bad about that? I don't know. But you know, there's one thing I'm kind of worried about. Sometimes, I'm afraid that Nasuke actually doesn't like me very much. Oh, that's ridiculous. How can you feel that way? Well, I mean, just little size. Like how she always says hi to me after I say hi to her first. <coughs> and it feels like she only gets hi to talk to me when it's about manga and other stuff she likes. She just seemed dismissive a lot. She was like that when I brought her poetry. Yeah, but that doesn't mean she doesn't like you. She probably just shy, you know. Maybe. Ah, uh, my stupid is just making me worry for no reason. He likes to do that. It's okay, try not to worry so much. Everything will be great. But you can always talk to me about any concerns that you have. I'm here to help. You are the best. Sayori gives Monica a quick hug. <laughs> well, I gotta keep trying because I love her and I wanna get closer to her. You got this. After the next club meeting starts, Sari is the one that's in as the usual. Sorting to the road, she sees Natsuki stay alone by the closet reading what must be manga. Without hesitation, Sari pulls out a chair and plops herself down next to Natsuki. Hello there. Hi. What you reading? Can I read it with you? Natsuki pulls the book away from Sari. You can't just start in the middle. There are spoilers beside. What about the one I gave you yesterday? Sorry, I was just curious. But anyway, I've been waiting forever for this one to come out. I just came out yesterday, so... Oh, that's a sign. Why well, let you read that? Hmm. Can I say next to you, though? Sure. So you plop the side down next to Natsuki, then pulls out a blank sheet of paper. Natsuki recently saved for the period of flooded off a page being released from beneath her thumb. From Sayuri's side, only the light tapping noises of a pen making the paper can be heard. Time passes. Sayuri's paper is filled with scribbles and the margins are lined with stick figures. Natsuki lets out a deep sigh and close her books. Do you finish? No, but it's good stopping point. My head is swimming, I need a break. Natsuki scratches an arm. Aren't you bored? No, I was writing. No, I saw the stick figures and thought you were just bored. I just throw those and I take care of waiting for inspiration. Thinking or waiting for inspiration, I made friends with them all. This one is sad because she thinks the night sky is pretty but she can't look out at the stars in public without everyone thinking she is a weirdo. And this one has problems with his back but the doctor can't figure out what's wrong with him. Ahaha, <laughs> what the heck? You are the weirdo. Wanna read the poem I'm working on? <laughs> sure, I guess. <coughs> Sorry, slides the paper over to Natsuki. As Natsuki reads the poems, she furious her eyebrows. Hmm. She slides the paper back to the Sayori. Don't you ever feel we are just sharing all of your thoughts and feelings like that? I mean, your poems are like really emotional. Is that bad? Well, no, it was just an observation. I think people can get closer to each other if they find ways to express their feelings. Well, Natsuki begins to protest, but she can't find a good way of putting her thoughts into words. Doesn't that depend more on the kinds of friends you have? I don't know. To each their own, but I never met anyone I feel comfortable sharing my poem with. <laughs> Not that it's you, it's just how I am, so you write poems? You never told me that, I just thought you wrote other stuff. Yeah, that's too bad. You should. I mean, would you, have, you ever want to share? Like I said, I don't do that. But, can we talk about something else? I'm sorry. It's not your fault, it just made me uncomfortable, I can't help it. <laughs> Still, I'm sorry. It's fine. Well, let's move on to something else that makes us both happy. I should continue the book you gave me. I didn't get very far yet. Sure. Over the next few days, I begin each other club <coughs> meeting by approaching Natsuki with unwavering enthusiasm. It's Natsuki. Natsuki. Hi, Natsuki. At the end of one club meeting, Monica, who has become rather invested in Sari's fashion missions, starts an innocuous conversation with Natsuki while she packs up. It's good that you may find time to spend with Sari. She was pretty excited for the chance to read manga with you. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you'll be enjoying the chance to share it too, right? Mostly. Huh? Natsuki glances over her shoulders but doesn't reply further. What's on your mind? Nothing. I don't talk about people behind their back. Oh? Natsuki falls silent, but she just fidgets instead of getting back to what she was doing. I thought she wants to say more. It's okay to share your feelings. That's different from talking about someone behind their backs. I guess. I just hate when people talk about me behind my back, so I better than do it than to do it to others. Monica shares a bright smile. You're really considerate. Um, 
thanks I guess, but it doesn't feel like you can trust me. That's case, that's in silence for a moment, still fidgeting. I just feel small to sometimes. <clears throat> I'm not used to someone being like all over me right after we meet. It mean, I mean, it's fun to hang out with her, but I just have no control over the pace. I can't just meet someone and instantly become best friends with them and like sharing everything about myself. That's not how it works. I just want to chill out sometimes. Oh, I didn't realize that was happening. It's fine. Why would you have? Why would you have? I know. I just feel bad about it. I know, Sayuri. So I should have realized. Monica never gets through a thing of guilt, which has surfaced mainly due to her being the one who previously encouraged Sayuri's behavior. Despite not knowing, not knowing the situation, Monica can help her feel a little responsible. You want me to talk to her about it? No, I wouldn't like that. Well, like, I don't know. I could like divert her into another club activity for you or something. No way, that will be sound as underhanded and mean. Sorry, I didn't think that one though. Besides, just because I complain about it doesn't mean I'm asking for someone to solve my problem for me. <laughs> True. I'm sorry. I guess I just instinctively want to try to solve problems even if I haven't been invited to. It's fine. I would, I would talk to Sarah about it, but it will make things really weird between us. I feel like it will make her constantly be afraid that she's bothering me. I don't know how to just keep things natural. Well, I think if you do a good job expressing all of your feelings, she will totally understand. Sayori really wants to be the best she can for other people. I think she will actually be happy that you want to improve your friendship with her. Maybe, uh, it just feels so dumb talking to someone about how to be friends with them. It's just weird and not cool. Monica shrugs. It's the literature club. <coughs> then she mumbles through a stiffer laugh. It's not the cool club. Hey, haha, <laughs> sorry that just tickled me for some reason. Look, I know you're kinda in a dark spot, and that is hard for you to really express yourself. But you already demonstrated to me that you are great at self reflection and critical thinking, even if it doesn't feel like it to you. I think that's the most important part of being able to navigate through these things. So I believe that you'll find the right thing to do. Well, Nasuke instinctively starts to reject the compliment, but she can't find any excuse to do so. Thanks. Nasuke gathers her things that she finished her thought in a mumble. And I'm still glad I joined the club, even if it's weird sometimes. Monica smiles when Nasuke turns her back and walks away before waiting for a reply. It was an unusual way for Nasuke to express her appreciation, but Monica knew what she meant. It made Monica feel like everything really was going to be okay. Oh, that was quick, nice. So yeah, we gotta end the episode. Nothing much, except a new music. Yes, except a new music. With that, thank you for watching my video. My video just for fun. Don't take heart, brothers and sisters. Okay, magic word time. Adios, famosa.